So this is a fun project that I did over the weekend uh, based on Drake DG Robotics, um, what's called the Arduino Coffin Astronomia theme. Uh, it's based on the guys from Ghana dancing around in that meme, that famous meme from 2020, where they're dancing around with the coffin and playing this song. It might ring a bell. Okay, um, I am having a problem with this where it's um, it's playing the buzzer on high occasionally. And if I unlatch it or if I do my capacitive touch switch where I turn it off, it seems to continue to keep that high signal on. I haven't been able to debug that yet. Uh, but I wanted to show you um, what I've done with this so far uh, is I've removed one of the LEDs that he had so that it's only three LEDs. Um, the national flag of Ghana is red, white, and green with a black star in it. You can't do black and LED, so I just kept it red, yellow, and green. Um, this also allowed me to have it come out of an ATiny85. Um, so the right side of the MC is all the outputs to the LEDs, driving those three LEDs. The left side is the piezo buzzer, um, along with uh, keeping track of the touch switch, the capacitive touch switch, which is used as a single switch to switch it on or off. When it switches it off, it puts it into sleep mode, uh, which is why you're seeing very little current being used. It's probably in the microcurrent range. Um, and then when it, you touch it again, it switches it back on. Uh, but sleep mode on the A-Tiny is very efficient, which is why I like using them. Uh, but again, I do have that tone problem that I got to figure out how to debug there. Uh, but it's actually a relatively simple um, program to use. Uh, I'll give you guys the code and we can go through it in a moment. Um, but I'll just kind of draw out how the chip is set up. Uh, there's a lot of wires in here. I know it looks a bit messy, but it's actually extremely simple um, how, you, how you use this to drive the different components, the different LEDs and the piezo buzzer. It's actually extremely simple. So when I go ahead and do that, let me pull out the paper here and just make sure that I'm centered. Okay, so if we imagine that this is the microcontroller here, and we have VCC up here, ground down here, uh, reset up here. So these three pins we're not gonna touch. So that only leaves us another five pins. Okay, and we can think of this as pin number zero, one, two, three, and four. And this is how we call it from within the Arduino code itself. Although in actual physical pin numbers, you start here, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the code, uh, we use this num uh, number structure to do it. So I use these three as my output to my LEDs. So you just have a resistor going into your LEDs. Okay, and then it's to ground. And just the same thing all the way up for these three. Over here, we have the buzzer, again, on a resistor. Uh, possibly not needed. I'm just going to do it like this. So you might not need... Um, oh, that's a terrible ground sign. Sorry about that. Um, you may not need the resistor on this depending on the voltage. In this case, my piezo buzzer is a 3.3 volt piezo buzzer. So using these, um, these two AA batteries is only 3 volts, so uh, it's fine. And then over here, we have the input coming in from our capacitive touch sensor. So in this case, it has two, two things that it's doing. It's either high or it's low. So low being 0 volts high being 3.3 uh, volts. Okay, so what happens is when the chip is initially turned on, the power goes into it. Uh, there's an internal pull-up resistor here that's gonna pull it up to 3.3. Okay, so it's gonna switch on. Uh, so it'll be on even though the actual um, button here. So we can do a reset and it'll switch on. So even though the button hasn't been touched yet, it's actually on. 
So I have to hit it and then that'll switch it off. You could pull this down if you wanted. If you had another resistor um, pulling it down to ground, you could probably do that. Um, but I didn't do that. So I'm just using the internal pull up to do it. And then the capacitive touch sensor itself, when you touch it, it'll bring it up to high. And then I have a couple of interrupts running. Uh, one interrupt um, asks it uh, or checks if it's been touched um, while it's running. So if it goes from high to low, that interrupt is then going to make it go into sleep cycle. And the other, sleep, uh, the other interrupt is being run when it's in the actual sleep cycle itself. Uh, what it's doing is it's interrupting the sl uh, sleep cycle and then continuing the, the, um, the instructions of the code. That's why it will continue the song. It'll continue the song rather than resetting it. And you could uh, set up the code that it resets the microcontroller on that um, interrupt, uh, but I didn't. So now why don't I just go over the code with you and you can see how you can program this self. You're welcome to, of course, copy this code and try it yourself. All right, so this is the code for the Arduino coffin. So we start by uh, including some libraries here. This is the IO library, which is going to allow us to read the input output pins, or in this case, the pin coming in for the interrupt. Uh, we need the interrupt library. We need a sleep library, which is gonna shut it down and have it go to sleep, as well as a power management library, which uh, works with the sleep library. We're gonna set our PC interrupt pin to number three. So PB number three which is that top left pin. We're going to set our colored LEDs to 0, 1, and 2. So again, those are the pins on the right side of the microcontroller. And we're going to set the buzzer to pin number 4, or PB4, which is on the left side. And this is our basic setup here. We're going to run through all the pins and set them all to output and just set them all to low. And now we're going to go ahead and set up our interrupt pin, uh, which is going to switch it off when we push the button or when we push the capacitive uh, touch sensor here. So this is turning it on. This is setting it to an input pin and we're pulling it up. And then this is going to turn on all the interrupts. So this was the code that was originally used by DJ um, Drake. And so I just basically copied over the melody over, which is in the loop here, uh, which then calls the actual code that runs in the melody function. And uh, learning how to do the melody is beyond the scope of this video. I actually did not even bother to learn. I just copied and pasted this in here and it worked. Um, the thing that I did change though was I reduced the number of LEDs. So I just changed the code here from the blue LED and I just randomly stuck in some yellow, green, or red uh, within this area. So this is the melody function here um, that controls the sounds and the buzzer here is controlled or pushed out with the tone here. Okay, and over here, this ISR PC int vector, this is the part that's controlled by the interrupt pin. So when the PC interrupt pin is touched or goes high, it's just going to continue to run that loop. If it goes to low, in other words, it's switched off, it's going to switch off the buzzer and it's going to go to sleep. And this is just the basic code that I use to go to sleep, very standard sleep code. So I think if you wanted to do a reset, you need to make a little bit of change to the code in here. Uh, rather than it continuing on in the melody, you want it to reset to the beginning of the melody every time that it's turned back on. Uh, you could do that in here. You could just set a reset flag so that it resets on the um, when it's on the interrupt. The only thing that I did change with my standard uh, go to sleep here 
is turning off the interrupt pins. Um, in this case, we're leaving them on uh, because we are using them later on or when it goes back into the loop cycle to switch it off and go back into sleep. So that's it. Uh, not very complicated as far as either components or code. And you are welcome to use this, modify it uh, in any way you wish. Um, if, you do, uh, if you do have a suggestion of how to fix that, that, um, that high tone that keeps coming out, that annoying um, buzzing sound, I, I can't figure out where it's coming from, but it's just giving me a, a full-on high signal out of the piezo uh, in between some of the tones, and I can't quite debug why that's happening. But if you have an idea of why that's happening, please let me know in the comments, and I'll test it out, and hopefully we can, we can get that working properly.